hey guys welcome back to my channel and today in this video i am going to do the review of this mppt solar charge controller made by outback and this particular solar charge controller can handle up to 20 amps so without further ado let's get started this solar charge controller can be used for 12 or 24 volt solar system for 12 volt system this solar charge controller can handle up to 300 watt of solar panels and for 24 volt system this solar charge controller can handle up to 600 watt of solar panels so as you can see here the model number is scc mppt20 which means solar charge controller capable of mppt functionality which can handle up to 20 amps and also we have three led indicators talking about the connectors we have six big connectors in which two for solar panel two for battery two for connecting the load and this particular connector can deliver up to 20 amps for the load and also there are three more connectors for battery temperature sensor and also for battery voltage sensing for the real-time data monitoring and data logging this solar charge controller has a data communication port and please do note that you are not supposed to connect this solar charge controller directly to your laptop or to your router via the LAN cable doing so may damage this solar charge controller to read the data from your solar charge controller you require a SCOM to USB device. Through this device you can program the solar charge controller according to your requirements. For example you can set bulk absorption float values for your batteries or even you can control the load according to your requirement through this SCOM to USB device. As you can see here we have got four dip switches the first switch is for night or dusk to dawn mode if you turn this switch on night or dusk to dawn mode will be activated and if you want your load to be turned on all the time leave this dip switch in off position the next switch is for battery selection if you have flooded lead acid battery this switch should be turned on and if you are having a wall regulated lead acid battery leave this switch in off position the next switch is for selecting your battery bank voltage that is 12 or 24 volts if this particular switch is in on position then the solar charge controller will work in 24 volts configuration and if this particular switch is turned off it will automatically select 12 or 24 volts depending upon your battery bank talking about the last dip switch which is manual reset if you make any changes to these three dip switches you need to momentarily turn on and off this manual reset switch in order to save the changes so now let's have a quick look inside this solar charge controller as you can see there is a big inductor which is a good sign here is the microcontroller here is the double ep rom for storing the data and the three capacitors of 100 volts which means this solar charge controller can accept up to 100 volts as input So as you can see here I have connected the solar charge controller to the solar panels and also I have connected the SCOM to USB for monitoring the data. So the power coming from the solar panel is 17.8 volts at 5.4 amps and the power going into the battery bank is 13.8 volts at 6.8 amps which is quite good. So talking about the price, this particular solar charge controller is available for $85 or 5500 rupees. So that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like this video then please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions regarding this solar charge controller let me know in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching, I will see you guys in my next video.